how you doing? Is you doing? Cause I'm doing. Today is Tuesday. And you know, I love saying Tuesday. So today is Tuesday. And I went and, there's Yuki. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Yuki, 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 Yuki. Yo, 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 yo. So today, I went and got a bunch of blood taken. <laughs> but it wasn't just the fact that I had to go get my blood done. It's the fact that it took an hour. Yeah, I sat there for an entire hour. There was so many people there. I legitimately thought, let me sit up. I legitimately thought that, um, that maybe an outbreak had happened over the weekend and we were all about to die or the apocalypse was coming. It might be coming. You never know. Um, so I had a full lipid panel for some reason. My PCM wanted to check me for hepatitis because I look hepatitis -y, don't I? I look jaundiced, y'all. Whatever. I still took it. Um, I had another blood test for my ketones. My ketones. So we're going to talk about that really quickly because, um, so I got a call from my surgeon's office yesterday and I don't have enough ketones in my blood. So I really don't know what more I can do. Um, I'm not cheating. Like it's, I'm not really cheating on my diet. Like I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. But I don't have as many ketones as he wanted me to. So then we started getting into like, well, what more can I do to fix that? You know, what what else can I possibly do? So what I'm going to be doing twice a week now is I'm going to be going on a full liquid uh, diet for two days out of the week. Um, just to give my body, you know, a shock in between. So, so today's Tuesday. Hopefully, um, let's see. Today's Tuesday, so tomorrow, Thursday. So I'm going to try to do it every Tuesday and every Thursday. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to do my best to go ahead and do the uh, liquid diet. Um, I don't want to lose this weight so fast that I become really ill. Um, I don't want to... Yeah, I, I legitimately just, I want to do it a little healthier, so, you know, I could go full-on liquid diet, which is what he said, you know, to do. He said if you wanted to, you could just go full-on um, liquids and then, you know, just see it all, you know, melt off pretty fast. But I was on liquids for five weeks, and I only lost 18 pounds. So, and that was a supervised diet. That was um, the op OptiFast. Is it Omni or Opti? I think it's OptiFast. And where I had like six of their little shakes a day. And then um, you have six of their little shakes a day. And then you have like a, a bar that you can eat. And then you have like a, um, a soup once a day. Which mine was the chicken soup. Which I actually particularly cared for. I liked it. That, that was my favorite part of the damn day was my chicken soup. I couldn't wait to have my chicken soup. But I was also incredibly miserable for five weeks. And I became so sick um, when I was going to the gym all that time that they allowed me to have one can of chicken and one can of green beans a day. Um, so I would split my chicken and green beans into two meals and have it for lunch and dinner because I was so sick. Um, I was just, it wasn't enough calories for me. And maybe that's why I didn't lose as much as I was supposed to, but I'd already lost so much weight before I had to go on that diet. So I just think my body was, was done by the time I got my gastric bypass. So my back is hurting really bad today. <laughs> Probably because I had to stand up a lot waiting for a seat because there was not a whole lot of seats because everybody and their damn grandma was in there trying to get their blood done or get some medicine or whatever. I get my nails fixed tomorrow because these shits are bothering me. I'm done. Um, I don't like the jewels um, closer to my nail tip because apparently I put my nails in my mouth a lot and I don't like the feeling of, of the Swarovski crystals um, against my teeth. Like that, it's like cringe. It's like, ugh, I don't like it. Like any kind of like 
ceramic or anything like that that I, or even hearing certain like a fork scrape ceramic nope mm -mm, nope mm -mm, nope uh so yeah i had a bunch of bud taken um i'll get my nails fixed tomorrow i did buy a whole bunch of uh, stuff at Costco yesterday, but it was 90, probably 90 percent, yeah, literally, it was just, it was mostly just 90 percent uh, produce, so I'll tell you what I got, and then I may take you out to my refrigerator and show you uh, what my refrigerator looks like since I've been doing keto. Um, you won't find much, <laughs> like, uh, that are not mine, because most of it, even my mother-in-law is getting into it, like yesterday we had a um, grilled chicken and I had uh, asparagus for dinner so I mean even she is getting into the lower carb lifestyle now you and you and we we gotta talk because you me here you us I tried trivia oh la, 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 la. ew it ew no mm -mm. nope 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 mm -mm. nope I'm gonna stay with my sucralose oh, Ugh. Ugh. So I'll be taking that back to Costco. That shit's nasty. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not. You can't convert me. Nope. Mm -mm. That was horrid. Um, yeah, what else? So, yeah. Uh, I am not feeling all that great today, but that's because I had to fast and I couldn't get my labs drawn until damn near 11 o'clock in the afternoon so I'm probably a little dehydrated and all I've had is one of those little um if you are on my Facebook or my Instagram I posted a uh, I posted a um Mama Nirvana salami and cheese um little packs that you can get from Costco they're a little expensive which would make them about two dollars a pack but to me, it's kind of worth it because it's something I could just throw in my purse and just and take wherever I wanted to. And you don't need bread or anything like that. So I actually really, really enjoyed that. Um, I'll probably go in here soon and make me like two eggs or something. So talking to my surgeon and stuff like that, like, you know, as much as a lot of DS people start telling you just eat a shit ton of bacon and don't worry about your calories, I don't think I'm one of those people. As he explained to me very clearly yesterday on the phone, I'm not like everybody else. My metabolism is shot. When I take something, um, let's say I, I, you know, I, I've, I've had to take a pain pill. It takes a long, long time to actually hit me unless it's liquid. Unless I've crushed it, um, held it underneath my tongue, or I, it's liquid. It takes a very long time for my body to break it down to where I actually feel um, the benefits of it. So, you know, a lot of times back in, you know, when, when I had surgeries and stuff like that, I would just get the liquid pain medication because that it worked a lot faster and a lot better for me, um, than pills do. But it, yeah, it was pretty, uh, my metabolism is no point now. Um, also like a lot of people, you know, A lot of people will go to the bathroom, you know, like they'll eat something and then later on that day they'll go to the bathroom and it's gone. I will find, and I know that's such a weird thing to say, but like I will find that, you know, when I eat like greens and stuff like that, like when I eat a bunch of salad and other stuff like that, it'll be an entire day before I see what I ate, like the morning of the day before. So like I don't, I don't think my intestines and stuff empty the way everybody else's does. Um... I do have IBS with constipation, not, not diarrhea, so I usually have to take Miralax anyway to get things moving. So just imagine what it, my life was like before I had Miralax, so I wasn't going every day. Um, you know, I don't know if anybody else really has that issue or not, but I definitely suffer with, um, you know, a very, very slow metabolism. So, um, oh yeah, so I also bought premier protein I don't know how you guys do it that stuff is nasty I just I mean it turns my stomach even to think about it like I bought it put it in the freezer see it's making me so I put it in the freezer to get it super cold and that's what I was gonna drink cause this morning 
No, ma'am. No. Mm -mm, no. You can't. No. Mm -mm, not happening. That was. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how you guys drink that shit. Ooh. No. Um, so I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm cross my little fingers. I'm gonna try very hard to try to doctor it up to where it's at least drinkable, but as it's sitting right now, not so much. Um, I don't know what I can put in it to make it not taste like, damn it, because it's, it's horrid. Oh, that stuff is nasty. Um, it tastes like watered down Yoo-Hoo. That's, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of a funkier tasting Yoo-Hoo, and I didn't like Yoo-Hoo back in the day. And if you're much younger than me, you probably don't know what Yoo-Hoo is, but it was like a chocolate water drink. It was filthy. I was like, what? So, um, ooh, and I don't want to put that in my coffee. I know a lot of you ladies love putting that in my coffee, but that's ruining my damn coffee. Like, I don't want to put that in my coffee. That's nasty. That's nasty. Um, yeah, even my surgeon was like, oh, yeah, I love Premier Protein. And I'm like, oh, oh, no, mm -mm, no, ma'am. So other than that, guys, I just wanted to come on here and kind of give you, you know, the kind of lowdown of what I'm doing. I'm going to have to scale my calories down quite a bit. Um, I was eating 16 to 17 uh, hundred calories per day, and I'm going to have to throw that back down to about a thousand. So I'm going to have to really, really work on my diet. I'm going to have to really make sure that I'm bringing in a lot more greens. So, oh yeah, I was going to tell you, uh, you know, um, so... I got Brussels sprouts, I bought asparagus, I bought um, salad mix, I got strawberries, I bought some strawberries, um, yeah, I'll, you know what, an easier way for me to do it will just take a little clip of my refrigerator and just show you guys there. I love you beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces, and I will definitely talk to you later. Mwah. Bye. I'm going to show you what's in my fridge. So, here are those nasty, oh, and then there's some chicken from last night, some salami, and some cheese sticks. There's butter, garlic, more butter, sour cream, um, asparagus, some apples, uh, mozzarella cheese, Kerrygold butter. Oh, it's on the bottom here. Okay, some whipped cream, some triple sec, yeah, good stuff. Uh, let's see here. So we have ribs that we're going to grill, green beans, uh, Gatorade for my mother-in-law, milk for my husband, a big thing of spinach, that's eggs. This is those little things that I told you I bought, you get from Costco. Maybe if I turn it around, they're on uh, yeah, there you go. Those. And throw them on the floor because that's the best way to eat them. Cherry tomatoes, bacon, chicken, uh, hot dogs from Costco. Then I got strawberries, lettuce, and a big thing of salmon. Oh, put that back up there. And then Brussels sprouts and carrots and coleslaw. Uh, let's see, broccoli alcohol, mushrooms, red potatoes, let's see, I don't think there's much in here, chicken, chicken, lobster, uh, English muffins, don't know what the fuck that is, uh, hey this is, yeah, it's, uh, meat, it's, um, chuck roast, pork, Oh yeah, tequila. It will kill ya. To kill ya. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, my uh, stuff is born. <laughs> that's all I got in my fridge. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna show you what I got for groceries. Um, this is for the next week. I'm gonna go pretty quick, okay? Cause I've got a lot of stuff to do. So, and some of this stuff is my mother-in-law. So this is my mother-in-law's. I no longer use this in my coffee. This used to be my favorite. This is from Costco. It was like $5.90, $5.80, something like that. And it's the, the big one. Um, oh, here we go. So I'm going to be making fathead pizza. Not today. Uh, you'll see the recipe later on. So here's my almond flour from Bob's Red Mill. 
regular pepperoni. This is from Walmart. Um, my favorite kind of water enhancers right now. There are one carb per packet. So, yeah. So, no. I didn't realize that. So, there's two carbs per entire packet. But I'll just have to add that into what I'm having per day. Some cilantro. Um, so I'm going to be making crackslaw a lot. Uh, you'll see the recipe later on, maybe tomorrow, something like that. So I went ahead and bought angel hair coleslaw, uh, just because that way I don't have to chop anything. Make it a little easier on me. One lemon for my, um, keto cheesecake. Another water enhancer. Another thing of the slaw. Now, in California, you don't get bags anymore. You have to pay for them. So you'll see that I have, like, my own bags now. Okay. I bought salami. And if you saw my latest video, um, I said in Safeway, it'd be coming out my ass. <laughs> so I bought salami. Coming out my ass. I bought ground pork for the crack slaw. I bought two of these from Walmart. They were, like, four something. I'm making my husband um, tonight. I'm going to be making him some of the smoked cheddar macaroni and cheese. I'm going to show it on here um, because I think people who have normal eating people in their house might want it. Um, this is something I cannot have. So this is not for me. It's for my husband. So I bought two things of that. Okay. This is my favorite coffee that I'm enjoying lately. It's the Colombian from McCafe. So I've been really, really enjoying that. I go through quite a bit of that. I bought some avocados. Good fats, guys, good fat. Uh, I bought a lint roller because my dog sheds and it's on everything I own. I bought some mozzarella, mozzarella cheese for the fathead pizza I'll be making. So, another of these because my commissary didn't have them and I need them. Um, this is the cheese that my husband is going to have in his macaroni and cheese. It is a s apple smoked cheddar cheese, it's delicious. Like, you can just eat it on its own. Some cream cheese for my keto cream cheese. Some um, uh, Dijon mustard. Another thing for his thing. I know, so another thing for his thing. Yeah, that works. Okay, um, I got two things of milk back here from Costco. I bought this. Oh, this was $6.47 at Costco for a half a cup. It is six net carbs, but I'm making fathead pizza, so I doubt I'll even eat a fourth, but my mother-in-law and my husband will eat this with stuff, but wait until you see what I got. Hold on. I'm super stoked. We found organic edamame spaghetti. Oh, yes, we did. And we, they had a sample, and it was amazing. They were making it with um, pesto, but I'm going to make it with just like Parmesan cheese and um, like butter. So the carbs on this are 11 net carbs per two ounces dry. I won't eat anywhere near that. So this is amazing. I'm super stoked. I'm really excited about it. 25 grams of protein. Keto friendly in my opinion. So 11 grams of fiber per serving, 11 net carbs per serving. Like I said, two ounces dry is a lot. We bought two of these because I wasn't sure the next time I would go to Costco, they'd still have it. So, um, my mother-in-law wanted some English muffins, so that's hers. Uh, I got some back home. Costco. My new best friend, Mr. Heavy Whipping Cream, Costco. Um, another thing of that, and then Costco now sells their hoiners. So, one wiener. <laughs> is four carbs. Um, I don't intend to eat these, but these are for Matthew and his mom, but maybe I'll have one. 
you never know. You never know. I might be in the mood one day to be like, I want me a Costco wiener. And now they sell them so you don't have to go to Costco and get them. So that was really exciting. They also sell the Polish sausage. So, yeah, that's not a ton of food, but that's more. Um, that's, that's what I needed this week. So I'm going to be making fathead pizza. I'm going to make um, crackslaw salami pieces with cheese. Uh, with cream cheese. I got some avocado. I have some rotisserie chicken that I'm going to be making into um, kind of like my white girl enchilada mix. And then that probably won't be this week. It'll probably be next week. So I'm going to debone this chicken that I have, put it in the freezer when I'm ready to use it. I'll throw it in the crock pot and it, it goes right up. So you never really have to waste. I love that. Uh, I'll be making the keto cream cheese uh, cheesecake thing again. I love that. Uh, it's really good. It, it cuts that craving right down. And I think there's like three net carbs per serving, but the servings are really small. I mean, it just depends on how much you're willing to eat, but it's really sweet and good. So I don't need a whole lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my little clothes haul that I got. I'm going to kind of get all this stuff out and start the macaroni and cheese. You'll see the video of that. I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.